Ali Rezaian is also in Landstuhl, Germany. He is the brother of Jason Rezaian. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Tell me, how's your brother this morning? You know, I was able to speak to him this morning on the phone, and, you know, he's just really happy to be out. He got a good night's rest and um, is working really hard to, to get himself better so that he can uh, come back home. Ali, a lot of people are so happy that your brother's finally coming home. He was held for more than 544 days. You must have so many questions for him. What is it that you want to know? You know, I mean, I think right now I just am concentrating on making sure that he's okay, uh, you know, uh, psychologically and physically. What is his psychological state right now? You know, he really seems very uh, positive, strong. He wants to come out of this, uh, you know, stronger than before and, and, uh, and, and come back. Are you angry that it took this long? Uh, you know, I'm angry that they took him in the first place. Yeah, exactly. uh, you know, it's, it, Jason didn't do anything wrong. They, didn't, they, they never had any evidence against him. They put him through this uh, sham of a trial uh, and just dragged it out. It's completely inhumane. There's no reason that this had to happen. Uh, you know, Jason was, was one of the best sp spokespeople for Iran when he was there. Uh, he loved the country. And, uh, you know, for them to do this to him for 18 months is, uh, is just unconscionable. Yeah, and he had also said publicly, Ollie, that he loved the country. He had talked about the frustration, sure, but he also made it very clear I love living here and I like this place yeah you know I mean I think that's that's true I you know I live in San Francisco it's a beautiful town and there's things I don't like about it either <laughs> yes. so you know J Jason <laughs> is just that kind of person and and uh, you know he has no no qualms with the Iranian people uh, you know the way he's been treated by parts of the Iranian government is is really criminal you know there's some people who are criticizing uh, the deal because they say exactly what you were saying he'd done nothing and they're exchanging him from prisoners that had gone through uh, the judicial process. Both the Congress and the Senate unanimously voted on resolutions, you know, uh, telling the president uh, to do everything possible to bring home uh, the Americans. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, there's been support from the president, support from Secretary Kerry, and, and then all the hard work of, of Brett McGurk um, to bring them home and make this deal happen. So, you know, uh, in theory, I understand what, what folks are saying, but in practice, uh, these guys have been held there for, for whatever reason, for no reason, for such a long time, and uh, I'm very thankful that, that they're on their way home, all of them, uh, and uh, I, I'm hopeful that the Iranians will, will help out and, and fulfill their commitments uh, to help find uh, uh, Mr. Levinson as well. Uh, you mentioned the president. You spoke to the president. What did he tell you? I spoke with him briefly. He said that, you know, this shouldn't have happened, that, uh, you know, he had been focused on it. His administration had been focused on it. It was very important for them. Uh, and I know that this went to the highest levels of the government uh, to uh, get the deal done. It wouldn't have happened without the support of so many people uh, throughout the government. Yeah. And, you know, I think your family would just like to thank everybody for that. Thanks, Holly. Holly Rezaian, thank you. Many people very happy for you and your family today. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you all.